Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you through a flip through of my completed Traveler's Diner insert, which is in my Traveler's Diner Traveler's Notebook cover because I recently completed this after almost, I want to say almost a year of chipping away at it. It was something that sat on the side of my desk and I would pick it up when I felt like it and it's not really in any particular order but it's got a lot of really fun goodies and lots of stickers and different bits and pieces of things that I had been saving up. Originally I thought a lot of this stuff would go in my cousin but because I take my cousin around with me I made the decision to minimize what I put into it because I knew otherwise the book was going to get extremely heavy. So I decided to use my Traveler's Diner notebook instead and it's been so fun putting everything together so I'm really excited to flip through it together with you. Before we get started, I have a few quick updates. Now that we are finished April, I wanted to quickly update you to say that I completed the month. So I might go through this in more depth in a separate video. The next update is I got some happy mail and I'm going to open this letter as soon as I finish filming this video. But to the person who sent it to me, thank you so much. It brought me so much joy to see this in my mailbox. So whoever you are, I guess I'll find out after this video when I open this up, but I just wanted to say thank you so much. And it is so cute. I love the sticker. This is all definitely going into my next insert when I replace the one, the completed one in here. Thank you so much. And the final update is I attended a Wonder Pens Traveler's Notebook meetup last week and they gave everyone who attended a little care package. I haven't opened it up yet. I thought it would be fun to open it up together with you. So if you're interested in seeing what is inside this package, I will save that for the end of the video since the focus of this video is the flip through. So stick around to the end of the video if you want to see what was inside this. Otherwise, let's get into the flip through. I anticipate this is going to be probably pretty rambly. I will do my best to not ramble too much, but I encourage you anyway to grab a drink. I've got a water with me right now and an activity to work on while we hang out. And yeah, just do whatever you need to do to get cozy. And I hope you enjoy this flip through of my completed Traveler's Diner insert. I did film an unboxing of this when I got it. Uh, it was over a year ago now, so if I can find that footage, I will insert it now.
have to say I've never gotten a special edition Traveler's Notebook cover before and um, it was so exciting to open this up and just have all the goodies in this box. I know they recently released the Tokyo version and they released it so that you could get just the cover or you could get all the accessories separately. I appreciate that because while I loved getting all of these things together, I would get overwhelmed really quickly if I wanted to participate in some of the cute little accessories but felt like I had to get the entire set. As far as special editions go, I am a big fan of the camel cover so when I saw that this was available in a camel color and I, I just I love the whole diner concept, I was really excited to get it and I have no regrets. Alright, let's get into the flip through. Okay, so so the first thing that I have in this insert is I have this plastic zippered uh, insert and I would just use this to hold different things that I wanted to eventually put into my scrapbook. It's empty right now because it's completed, but that's one place. And then in the back, um, I have more things that I would store in here. So these are all things that I would throw in here if I thought maybe it would be useful to put into my insert. And then this is the insert that comes with the cover. And another reason why I put this plastic here is because I wanted to protect this cover from from the leather because I was a little worried that this might rub off on the cover. So I like to always have something that separates my insert from my leather cover. So yeah, this is the cover. I really love how retro this feels. And when I first got this insert, I was paralyzed as to how I wanted to use it. I actually kept my cover and my insert and every accessory that came with it in the box for months because it was like I was too afraid to use it. And I, every so often I would take out the box and I would, you know, unpack everything. I would look at the postcards and admire the stickers and open up the charms and take a look at them. And then I would carefully package everything back up again and put it into the box and then put it back on my shelf. You get these things to enjoy them. It's not something that I want to just have sitting on my shelf unused. And so one day I just decided, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to use this as a scrapbook. I have a desire to do some scrapbooking and I felt like these inserts would be a good place to do them in because there's less pages in an insert so they can handle getting chunky without bulking out my everyday planner. So on the inside cover, there is a menu of this fictitious traveler's diner. And then last year I attended a traveler's notebook meetup at Wonder Pens and they had a bunch of stamps. So I ended up stamping the traveler's diner stamp on the cover page. My very first entry is the box from the very first bottle of ink that I ever purchased, also from Wonder Pens. So I got this traveler's diner set from Wonder Pens and I also got my first bottle of ink from Wonder Pens. I think their boxes are beautiful and I ended up cutting this out. I stopped doing that because I then later learned that it's best to keep the ink bottles protected from sunlight, which I didn't know. I also realized that they make the insert really thick. So anyway, this is Writer's Desk, which is an exclusive collaboration between Wonder Pens and Ferris Wheel Press, one of my favorite inks. And then this was my first blue ink that I purchased. So I went to Wonder Pens. They have a giant binder full of ink swatches and I just flipped through them and I picked this color because it seemed like a blue I would enjoy. And this was the bottle that taught me to invest in samples because I ended up taking it home and not being in love with the color. So I actually have a giant bottle 40 ml bottle of this and if any of you ever wants a sample of this color 
uh, message me because I highly doubt I'm going to use this up. I did really love the packaging on this. I then put in a bunch of things from Wonder Pens. So on the uh, left side here, I have the tag from my pen wallet, which is um, the first Superior Labor product I ever got. This is their logo, I guess, that you get in all their paper bags. And they always give you a postcard with your purchases and they're always so gorgeous. I really love the way this one looks. So I have been trying to save the postcards in here, but they're pretty thick. So I don't have all of them in here that I've collected over the years. I bought the Pilot Metropolitan. I also discovered this Kunisawa Fine Flex Notebook, which I used as a personal journal diary last year. I saved that receipt and then I started adding little entries and I wrote this in the writing desk ink. Here's a little bit from the Kunisawa notebook that I got. I really liked their little story about their logo so I wanted to save that. Yeah. Next up, this is one of the spreads from pieces of things that I got from an offsite that I went to. I was working in a fully remote role and it was the first time that I had met a lot of my teammates in person and we did this really cool activity where we drew character collector cards of each other. So we would take turns drawing one component of our colleagues and then we would pass it along to someone else and essentially what you would end up with is a drawing of yourself that was drawn collaboratively with all of your teammates and then at the bottom your colleagues would add in your strengths and so if you're ever looking for like a team bonding activity and you happen to have a lot of really creative design people in the mix then you will end up with some really really fun portraits of yourself so this was a really memorable activity and i did end up saving a lot of those things um, in this spread this is some pieces from an order that I made with 26th Market, which is a retailer in Canada. Whenever you get their package, there are some fun little stickers. This is out of order. These are some stickers that I had gotten from a 2022 trip where I went to Savannah and we came across this really fun coffee place and they were giving away all these stickers for free and I had been saving them, but I didn't know what to do with them. I had a bunch of coffee stickers as well, and instead of having these vinyl stickers sitting around in my drawer, I was able to just add them to the spread. And then this is a general store that we stumbled upon when we were wandering around Savannah. I remember they had a lot of really cool vintage items. Ah, and then this is from an order from Galen Leather. So I wrote here my passport size leather wallet. And Galen Leather sends a lot of really beautiful extras and freebies when you order directly from their website. I got some gorgeous stickers that I still haven't done anything with. They give you this really lovely letter that talks about the history of Galen Leather. So I really you know, love the care that they put into their packaging. These are some stickers that I got from an old colleague of mine who resigned from their role to pursue being a freelance independent artist. Uh, so they're extremely talented, just really intricate line drawings. I also have a couple of original art pieces from this artist, but I was really inspired by them for taking the leap into being an independent entrepreneurial artist. And so I really wanted to commemorate some of their work in my scrapbook. This is a label from this really cool cafe that we discovered one weekend. Really enjoyed it, so I saved the label. And then here I, I love the branding of Traveler's Notebook inserts and their products. I saved them and I decided to start inserting them through my scrapbook. 
this is just a page of me swatching out a washi tape set that I got. And actually, now that I'm looking at this, I'm kind of inspired to swatch all of my washi tapes because I have a rather large collection, which I am making some serious dents into, but I do have a rather large collection and it's kind of cool to see all of them together. These are some little bits and pieces from an order that I made from a Japanese seller. I ordered a pencil board. This is the one that I'm, I'm actually still using in my cousin. It's just so colorful and quirky and I fell in love with it. This is another spread where I used a lot of stickers that I had been collecting over the years of working at one of my last roles. They were really big into stickers and sharing those stickers with their employees. So I had a lot of them and we used to stick them on our laptops, but I didn't always enjoy doing that because when you eventually had to return the laptop, then you had to rip off all the stickers and sometimes you couldn't use them anymore. So I saved a lot of them and eventually I threw a ton of them onto these two spreads. When I look at the stickers, they bring back a lot of memories because a lot of them represent a certain time working there or a certain milestone that we hit at work. Several years ago, my sister got me this gorgeous watercolor palette from Beam Paints. So I didn't get them June 2023, but this is just the date that I made some swatches. Looking at this is actually making me want to use them again. Over here, these are some bits and pieces from a coffee roaster that we bought some coffee from. They have really fun packaging, so every time we order from them, I usually try to save their labels and I stick them into my scrapbook. This is when I started to maybe get a little bit obsessed with superior labor. So I ended up ordering my leather notebook cover for my cousin from 26 Market because I could not find it locally in Toronto. And then I ended up making another purchase for the utility case. Oh, okay, so this is from my Atelier Phileas cover that I purchased from Nomado store. I wrote a little entry here. So I ended up buying a notebook cover that I was hoping I could use with my five year Hobonichi. And it is a really gorgeous cover. And I did another video on it where I talked about why I decided to swap the cover for something else because it is just a touch too small for the five year. And if you're someone who doesn't mind modifying your Hobonichi cover, then I think this is a really great option, but I just didn't want to modify it. So I ended up not using it for that reason. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with that cover. It was quite pricey and I had to pay the most duties I've ever had to pay to get it to me. So I would like to find a use for it or maybe I'll sell it. If you are interested in this cover, let me know. It is really beautiful. Apparently they get their leather from the same place that the superior labor gets their leather from. Here are some more labels from that roastery that I talked about before. And then I think this is the last time I cut up a ink bottle purchase. This is Peter Moss. <laughs> so these are some post-its that I saved back when we worked in an office. I had this one page a day tearaway calendar that I kept on my desk and my colleague would put little post-its like this, um, would hide them throughout the calendar. So every so often I would be ripping the page and I would come across one of these post-its. So of course I saved them all. I didn't look ahead to find them. I thought it was really fun to just flip to the day and see them. Another colleague's partner ended up putting one of their own drawings into my calendar as well. So it was just one of those extra things that made me look forward to going to my desk and starting my day because my ritual at the time would be arrive at my desk and then tear off the page and sometimes I would see a little post-it surprise. This was from the July 12th Traveler's Notebook Meetup. This was the first time I ever attended 
a stationary related meetup. I do struggle with some social anxiety, so going to group events in general on my own isn't something that I usually jump to do, but I really love Wonder Pens and I don't have a lot of friends in my life that I can talk to about stationary things. That's part of the reason why I have this channel. I really pushed myself to go to this and kudos to Wonder Pens. They always put on a really intimate, cozy, welcoming event. We had a round table, we, we did a little show and tell of our traveler's notebooks, and then we all got to play with the different stamps. So these are, I think, most of the stamps that I was able to get from that day. So this was really fun. These were some things that I got in my goodie bag from last year. So we got a couple of like cards. I ended up buying a few stamps and it was really fun. I was really glad that I pushed myself out of my comfort zone to meet other stationary lovers like myself. This was a really memorable day. And then on a different day, we ordered takeout from a restaurant chain in Toronto. This is a postcard and a receipt from my first Vanishing Points. So this is the pen that I talk about all the time. I went in to the store in person and I purchased this pen. So I really wanted to remember that. This is a sticker from a bakery in Toronto and if you're ever in Toronto and you happen to like chocolate chip cookies, they have some of the best chocolate chip cookies in the city. It's the chocolate chip and walnut cookie. It's the best. This is where I started playing with some of my uh, Deco Rush tapes that I got last year from my Hobonichi order. Here I cut up little pieces of my Hobonichi cousin. So this is my 2023 edition. And then these were from the order that I made for the 2024. So again, it's a little out of order. And then this was a really fun spread. The theme of 2024 Hobonichi was life is present. I think this came in all of their different planners. So I really loved the theme and I loved all these drawings. Here are a few more things that I had been saving. So this is the bottom of a Hobonichi Weeks. And here are some of the little brochures. This is from a sample order that I made from Goulet Pens. Last year, my in-laws came to visit us from Australia and we took them to Blue Mountain, which is a kind of ski resort, although it was the summer when we went. And this is just a map that shows the different ski runs. And then I think my intention was to put some photos in here or document some of the things that we did, but I guess I did not get around to it. We have goodies from a Yoseka stationery order that I made in October. This is where I got my two sailor pens and I got a few samples. This is the Kyo no Oto brand and this is the Kyo Iro. This is when I got my Lion Friends brown pen, which is one of my favorite pens and also my seasonal festival series, my Kiku. I love these two pens. I use them every day. It was around this time where I started to feel like I didn't need any more pens. And I, of course I have gotten a few more pens since then, but it took quite a few months. Like after this purchase, I don't think I made another pen purchase for months after. So I was very satisfied. We celebrate Christmas and we normally have a very short artificial tree that we pull out every year, but this year we decided to get a real tree and it, we got like quite a large tree. It was a six to seven foot tree. We got it really early, like mid November. And we kept that thing until after January because it was just so exciting to have a real big tree. These are some holiday coffees that we got from that roastery that I mentioned before. 
And then these are just some stickers that I got from Danielle from my Dandelion Diaries. This was a really fun time with the big Christmas tree, the lovely coffees, and getting happy mail from Danielle. This is some of my of my favorite PET tapes. I ended up buying these from Paper Plus Cloth, which is a local Toronto stationery store. I just really love this artist. I think it's um Peon is the artist and I use these all the time in all of my journals and they're not too thick, so I don't feel like they've bulked up my Hobonichis as much as I was worried about. This is the Let's Embrace the Imperfection spread. So I got a few Traveler's Town inserts for my passport size. Honestly, I really just wanted the stickers, but I have been using this monthly in my passport and I track birthdays in it. I love these drawings, so I've saved a lot of them. This is a part of packaging of my all-time favorite, favorite, favorite treat from Hong Kong. So I cannot find this in Toronto. So whenever my parents go to Hong Kong, I beg them to bring me home this candy. It's like this sweet, chewy, but not overly sweet, delicious, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's just so, so good. I still hope to find this in Toronto or find something like this in Toronto someday because it's so delicious. This is a label from a gift that a friend gave us when we moved into our new home. I found it the other day and I decided that I wanted to keep the label. I saved a little piece of the Morris & Co. wallpaper that I splurged on for our kitchen accent wall. I agonized over trying to pick wallpaper that I was really excited about and then I agonized about whether I wanted to buy it and then I, once I got it I took several months to work up the courage to install it on our walls. It was a really happy DIY moment for me because several years later I still look at the wall and I just love it and that's when I feel really good about investing in something because I know that I'm gonna love it for a really long time. Over here I just want to call attention to this because if you watch any of my other pen videos, you might know that I complained a lot about Ferris Wheel Press Lady Rose. It's an ink that I have learned does not play well with my Sailor Extra Fine and Fine Nibs, but a viewer suggested that I try inking it up in my Pilot Vanishing Point Medium Nib, and I did, and I really enjoyed this ink. I especially enjoy this ink on cream Midori paper. This was a really happy moment for me because I was almost ready to just give away the ink and it really annoyed me that I spent so much money on a bottle of ink that I just did not like at all. But at least I found one pen and a type of paper where I really enjoy writing with it. That was a really happy discovery and I'm glad that I tried it in a different pen. We're almost done. So this is another guide for the standard size traveler's notebook. So I purchased a couple of inserts for my sister's traveler's notebook that I customized for her. If you're curious to see what that looked like, I have a few videos on that as well. Again, I loved the artwork here, so I wanted to save that in here. And then here is yet another Wonder Pens postcard. And I think just on the back, I wrote about the Traveler's Notebook theme for 2024 and how much I loved it. And then here I added some Traveler's Diner stuff. So this is just an overview of all the things that came in the special edition box. And I finally used one of the gorgeous stickers. So all of these I've been so afraid to use, but I finally used one of them here. So that was a nice moment, a nice way to cap this off. And then this is another little brochure that you get with the Traveler's Diner. So I wanted to save that and I thought it would be appropriate to finish off this insert with some Traveler's Diner stuff. This is the back of the insert and here that's my Traveler's Diner TN.
I'm going to archive this and what I was thinking about trying was to see if this insert would possibly fit in this Traveler's Diner pouch that came with the set. So let's see. That fits great. At the Wonder Pens event last week, I did crack open this yellow notebook that I had picked up at the last meetup. And I don't know what came over me. I think I just thought this was a fun color, but I can't see myself actually using this to write with. So I thought this would be a great insert to use as a scrapbook. So I am going to insert that now and yeah back to being super thin i look forward to another round of scrapbooking that's my traveler's diner this is the bag that i received when i attended the event so the first thing that came in the package was traveler's times i honestly have no idea what this is um i i i feel like it could either be glue or it could be something consumable. So I'm gonna have to look this up. Seeing this makes me think it's glue, but I will look it up and I will definitely not try to drink it. Two, two pencils, this Pilot bottle to pen, and it's a 0.7. My guess is that this pen body was made with a recycled bottle. So that is really cool. Oh, so it's like a lime green. So it's a Pilot bottle to pen, 0.7. This Pilot ruler, this is so cute. I could see this being really nice for my traveler's notebook. I've got two pieces of paper. I love this kind of quirky illustrative style. Lifesavers Mint. So Wonder Pens recently released a collaboration stamp set with Pix Desene? Wow, this is really cool. So I think this is one of the stamps from the stamp set. I was actually looking at the stamp set because I love stamps. So really cool that they included one of these in the package. That is everything that came in the little welcome package. Took a lot of energy to get myself to there, but I did meet some really great people. I'm really glad I went and if they do more of these, I'm going to try really hard to um, make it to the next ones. I hope you enjoy the flip through and if you're still here, thank you so much for spending this time with me. If you have any questions about the flip through or anything else that you saw in the video, please uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. Is scrapbooking, memory keeping something that you like to do and um, have you used a traveler's notebook insert for that? I'd love to hear your experiences. And yeah, please stay tuned because I have a few really fun videos coming up that I'm working on. So hopefully I can get those uh, recorded and up on the channel in the next few weeks. All right, well, I hope you're doing well and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye.